Good day everyone. Are you tired of dealing with mysterious case of 100% CPU utilization on your SQL server? Well, fret no more. In today's video, we are diving deep into the world of performance troubleshooting armed with two powerful tools, SQL Log Scout and SQL Nexus. Join me as we embark on a journey to uncover the truth behind high CPU usage and learn how these tools can quickly identify the real culprit. So let's roll up our sleeves and get ready to solve the case. This is unmasking the culprit, solving high CPU utilization on SQL Server with SQL Log Scout and SQL Nexus. But first, let's take a moment to understand the magnitude of the problem and the frustration it brings. High CPU utilization on a SQL Server can cripple performance affecting critical applications and leaving you scratching your head. Thankfully, we have SQL Log Scout and SQL Nexus, two powerful tools in our arsenal to quickly identify the root cause and put an end to the mystery. In this video, we will walk through the entire process from analysis to investigation, revealing the true source of CPU overload. So without further delay, let's jump right in and unleash the power of SQL Log Scout and SQL Nexus. So uh, this is the uh, database server, JBS AG2, where uh, we are seeing 100% CPU utilization. So we uh, look at um, um, the performance monitor. We are able to clearly see that uh, the CPU utilization on the database server is like 100%. It is uh, continuously 100%. And uh, since it is an SQL database server, uh, everyone suspect would be SQL server that is uh, uh, eating up all the CPU on the database server. So now what we are going to do is like, we are going to execute SQL log scouts for say five minutes, and then we will analyze the output and see um, why is uh, the CPU 100%, the utilization is 100% on this database server. I will basically be showing you like um, how quickly we can collect the data and also like um, uh, how we can easily understand what is going on in the database server with the graphical representation and things like that. And it's very, very easy for anyone to understand if they follow this process. So what I'm uh, doing now on an uh, administrative command prompt, I'm uh, going into this SQL log scout where it is um, present and then I'm uh, uh, basically um, uh, executing this SQL underscore log scout dot CMD. Let's start that. So just to keep in mind, if you want to understand how to download SQL Log Scout and uh, how do we um, uh, execute it on the database server, I have a separate video for that, uh, a separate video for SQL Log Scout execution and also how to use uh, SQL Nexus. You guys can have a look on that. I will put it in the description. So here uh, it is basically telling like, would you like to use the GUI mode? I'm going to give it as S. So let's wait for the GUI to come up. Okay, here it is. So now what I'm going to do, I'm uh, going to do a, a general performance analysis. So the SQL instance that I'm interested in is JBS AG2. I'm going to just select a general performance and then it will select the required uh, uh, performance monitor and X events. I'm not going to select anything fancy. I will just keep it light, general performance and then click on okay, yeah. So let it run. So uh, it will basically be telling like um, 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 uh, the collection, the log collection is started and then um, um, we can reproduce the issue. Let's wait for that um, 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 command and then um, we will run it for five minutes, say, uh, say for five minutes and then we will analyze the log. It's going on. Uh, let's wait for a couple of more seconds. Yeah, okay. So if you see here, it basically tells like, please type stop to terminate the diagnostic collection when you finished capturing the issues. So now what I'm going to do, I'm uh, able to see that it is 1, 1 p.m. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to uh, let it run for uh, five minutes, say till 1, 6 p.m. And then I will stop it. And then I will uh, show you guys like how we can load that uh, data inside SQL Nexus and the, how do we go about troubleshooting the issues further. So I will uh, pause this video and then resume it back after five minutes. 
Okay, so uh, it is 1 6 p.m. now. It is five minutes now. So I'm going to type in uh, uh, stop and then uh, going to stop uh, the log scout collection, data collection. So let's wait for this to complete. Uh, just uh, remember that if um, your um, event viewer is uh, huge, then um, um, uh, the log scout will take some time for uh, shutting it down. So basically, we have to be very careful on that. So um, uh, what we'll do is like, let's wait for the SQL log scout to stop its data collection. And then uh, what we'll do is like, we will uh, load the data into SQL Nexus and then uh, look at it further. Okay, it is um, still collecting the data. Gonna take another uh, maybe 10 seconds or 20 seconds. And then it should stop there. So yeah, I think it is uh, nearly completed. It is basically telling launching cleanup and exit uh, routine. Please wait. So yeah, it completed. So uh, what we can do is like we can um, go to the location where we have the SQL log scout, which is C drive and uh, SQL logs. And then we have this SQL log scout here. So if you see here, we have this output folder here. So this is the uh, folder which basically contains all the data related to um, um, the log scout that we collected uh, from one uh, maybe 1 1 p.m. to 1 6 p.m. So now what I'm going to do I'm uh, going to uh, invoke SQL Nexus and then load this data into a database and then we will have a look like uh, what happened okay so let's go to um, the location where we have the SQL Nexus let's uh, open that then now what we'll do is like we will connect to um, uh, the server where we'll be loading the SQL Nexus data. Again, this is a demo machine. So that's the reason I have uh, introduced the uh, CPU issue also. And I'm going to use this as the platform where uh, I'll be loading the SQL Nexus data into this particular instance and then looking at uh, uh, data there. So now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to create a new database to hold this uh, SQL Nexus data. So let's click on it here and then click on new database. And then what we'll do is like we will um, create a database called uh, CPU 100 and uh, July 2023. This is my uh, database name. You can name it uh, whatever you want, but my database name is this. So click on OK. And then let's uh, click on import here and then uh, give the um, location where we have this um, uh, data as far as the SQL log, log uh, scout is concerned. So let's go there. Uh, let's pick up the output folder. And then let's give it here. And then let's import the required data. So the import is going on. So let's wait for the import to complete. And once it is completed, we will have a look on the data. So it is uh, going on currently. It is loading the uh, BLG file, which is your performance monitor logs. Okay, so the import is completed now. So now what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to use the Power BI reports and then I will look at the data. So first I'm going to use this uh, performance reports here and then we will provide um, required uh, information there and then we will take it from there. So let me open the SSMS. Okay, so we have this uh, Power BI uh, report open. So we know that the server name where we have uh, uh, the SQL logs code data loaded is JBSAG2. Let's pick up the uh, database where the data is loaded, which is CPU 100 July 2023. Let's copy the name and put it in the Power BI report. Then let's click on load here. So it's uh, started loading the data into the Power BI report. What he'll do is like once the data is loaded, we will uh, look at the information. So here I'm going to click on OK and then click on run. So it's going to ask for uh, more queries to be run for this Power BI report. So let's click on run for all the queries. Let's click on run for all the queries that needs to load the data. So 
So um, uh, it is creating the connections in the model and then it will load the required data and then we will be able to see the uh, information in the Power BI report. So the loading is happening now. Uh, we should be getting the report anytime. Okay, so the loading is completed. Let's wait for uh, uh, the graphical representation. I'm not going to check each and everything. I'm just going to concentrate on uh, uh, the scope here. For this uh, video, the scope is um, uh, CPU being 100%. So let's have a look on that. So if you see here, um, uh, what we can see here is like uh, we have all the um, uh, information as far as uh, um, the Power BI is concerned here. So what we'll do is like let's go to the CPU here. And then if we see here, what I'm able to see is like the, this particular thing that is uh, 10 CPU uh, processes by percentage processor time. What I'm able to see is like uh, um, uh, there is this one, uh, which is uh, CPU uh, stress uh, 64. That's an application which is basically like close to 89%. Yep. And SQL server is just 0.04%. So this is the first thing that we need to look at. So uh, or at least in this scenario, what we are able to see is like uh, uh, CPU utilization um, doesn't seem like uh, uh, very high as far as SQL Server is concerned. So in this uh, case, what we can uh, um, um, safely uh, update is like uh, this high CPU utilization on the database server seems to be due to an application that is outside of SQL Server. So we basically have to reach out to that specific team and then understand why the CPU utilization is very high and then I request them to have a look on that. But in this case, even though it is a SQL Server database server with this um, Power BI report, SQL Nexus, and um, SQL Log Scout, we are able to clearly understand that uh, the problem is not SQL Server. So we basically have to um, request the concerned uh, application team to have a look. In, my, in, in this case, what, I'm, uh, what I've done is like I've used an, uh, um, a tool called CPU Stress uh, to uh, increase the CPU utilization just to show like how do we do the analysis. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.